in the previous video we learned how to download PuTTY in this video I will show you some of the basics of the software this is the main interface of PuTTY to log into our server we need to enter our host name or IP address if you bought this server and nothing has been installed in this server you are probably going to use an IP address and host name looks like something like this so we don't have any host name because we are just going to build our server so in this case we are going to use our IP address I'm too lazy to remember my IP address to, so I'm just pasting here by default all of the servers have port number 22 for SSH so if maybe your hosting provider your server provider is using a different port so make sure your pay port is correct and make sure SSH is selected and then click on open this window will appear if you are logging into your server for the first time you may see a alert like this one simply click, click on yes and now we are access uh, connected to our server now it is asking for our username and password by default all of the servers have their username as root which is narg safe we will learn in more videos how to actually change your password so we can make it secure so by default all of the servers name have a root username so which is very unsecure and very easily hackable so at the moment we have not changed anything so we are going to log in via root and when you buy the server from your server provider your root password is usually delivered to your email and is it is recommended to change your password once you get access to your server so I'm going to paste my password press enter we are now logged in to our server now it is asking us to change our password to change our password simply enter our previous part password and now it is asking for our new password let's type a strong password and it is asking for a retype yes we are now logged into our server in the starting it shows us what kind of operating system we are running it shows us some of the statics of the server we will learn more about these things and we are also going to learn some of the basic commands which are used to build our server that's it for this tutorial